Hey everybody, it's your girl Devon Finn here. Today's read is going to be for my Aquarius. I have not forgot about you guys, but it's very important for me to take some time to rejuvenate my energy, okay? So I can give you guys the best of the best, okay? So today, your guys' message from your spirit guides and your positive affirmation. I accept change for it supports my growth. It is bringing me what I love the most. So you guys are being asked to take a leap of faith and some change is needed in order to do that. So your number for today is for you guys. Today's date is 316.21. 3 plus 1 plus 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1 equals 13. 1 plus 3 equals 4, which means to take a leap of faith. You guys are being asked to step outside of your comfort zones. Now, the message that I got for you guys, Aquarius, is um, from your spirit gods, don't give up. Push through the BS. Your reward is waiting at the end. And then I'm getting family support and blockage and then lost. I'm getting all of that together. So maybe you guys feel as if maybe your only support system is lost, as if you guys um, are alone in this world and you don't have anybody. But you guys are being asked to take time to heal yourself before trying to help others. Strength is the key, you guys keep going so i feel like a lot of you have exactly what you need but you may not see it because of the current situation that you guys are in so we're gonna jump right into the read you guys i've already blessed the cards and i've asked um your higher spirit guides to bless you guys with the message that you are needing to hear okay so starting out Aquarius and this is regarding love okay I'm getting in the energies that you guys are sending me the most okay so whatever you guys want me to read on that is what I'm reading because this is the energy that you guys are sending me so take what resonates leave what does not this is not going to resonate with every body okay if it does not resonate with you check your placement in your charts okay you guys so let's jump right in all right Aquarius you guys may be walking away from somebody with the eight of cups okay you may be realizing that somebody was keeping secrets from you you could be realizing your worth you could be realizing that you are an empress that you can achieve more by yourself than you can with this person that you are with all right, Aquarius, for some of you, you could be married to this person, okay? It could be hard for you to walk away. This person may have costed you money, Aquarius. With the sun um, clarified with the eight of pentacles, you worked hard. You put a lot of work into this relationship. You put a lot of work into the foundation that you have laid for yourself. With this four of pentacles and the six of cups, you're reminiscing on the past. And you're not wanting to let go of whatever you may be. It looks like you may be guided to let something go with this tower in reverse. Um, your divine gods are calling for a change, okay? You guys have the tower in reverse, which means that you're resisting some sort of change. Something happened and you guys know that you're kind of better off alone. And I feel like you guys are reminiscing on what was in the past. You guys could be looking for clarity with this judgment card with the tower in reverse. I feel like you guys are wanting to know what happened before you completely walk away from the situation. With this three of wands and your current energy, you guys, again, I say you guys are looking for something. You guys are looking off into the distance. You're looking for something. You guys could be losing money because you guys could be in a depressed. And that's that's another thing, you guys. I sensed a state of depression before starting this reading. A lot of you could be in some sort of depression right now. Um, 
because whoever you guys are dealing with, you guys take these energies. Um, it does not matter what the gender is. Take the energies and put them where they need to be, you guys. With this Knight of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. You could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, that's mainly what's out here right now. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. And then we have a little bit of water, um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. But with this Knight of Cups and the High Priestess in reverse, this is letting me know that Somebody took you out of your character. Maybe when you're around this person, this person may be able to take you out of your character when you know that you're supposed to be seated on your throne. You're not supposed to get off of your throne for nonsense, but I feel like this person is the one person that can push you past you're, you're the worst point of you like you want to be the best you that you can be but this person for whatever reason can take you out of character is what I'm getting okay and I feel like you're you're manifesting more Aquarius this could be you or the person that you're dealing with but somebody is manifesting a new start I feel like somebody's wanting a new beginning I feel like there are options out here. I feel like somebody may be walking away because they know that they have to in order to get some sort of point across to this person. Because with the Ten of Wands, that's the end of a cycle, you guys. Somebody knows that they've got they gotta go. And with the Seven of Cups here, I feel like someone has a lot of options, but with the Five of Wands, I feel like this is causing, this could be causing some sort of uh, disagreement, some sort of battle, some sort of conflict. But I feel like with the Four of Cups that you're refusing a lot of options that are coming your way. Because with this Eight of Wands, you're still stuck in your past. And with this Justice in Reverse, you're still looking for some sort of clarity regarding your past, which is keeping you from moving forward, Aquarius. That is what I'm getting for you guys so far. This offer that some of you guys are refusing, it could be a divine offer. We're going to get some clarification for you guys. Oof. Let's see. Do we want to use these? Let's see. We're going to use my fairy deck Aquarius so we can get a little bit of information for you guys. What do we want to clarify? Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's see. What are you guys looking for? You guys, I feel like you guys are looking for something. I feel like you guys are looking for some sort of fulfillment that you may not have gotten with this person in this relationship, okay? I feel like this person did not give you the fulfillment that you were longing for, and I feel like you know that there is something better out there, and I'm not necessarily talking about a person, but I'm talking about a life, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, could you clarify this page of wands for my Aquarius? Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, the wheel. What did I just say? Um, you guys, this is the wheel, okay? This clarifies um, the page of wands. You guys are looking for something better. You guys feel as if something better is out there. With this Ace of Wands, you guys are ready to manifest a better life for yourselves, okay? Delays are over. Sudden or unexpected good luck, a new car or travel. So, I feel like you guys know as soon as you walk away from a certain situation that you're going to be gifted with complete abundance. And I feel like you guys know with this Eight of Pentacles clarifying the sun that your hard work is going to pay off and you guys are going to be highly abundant, okay? But let's see, clarify the Six of Cups for my Aquarius. Let's see, the two. I feel like uh, your past has you guys unbalanced, okay? Something from your past is making you guys unbalanced. 
Bring fun into everything you do. Juggling multiple priorities or jobs. An exceptional talent for multitasking. So you guys may need to slow down a little bit so you can focus on what needs to be balanced out at hand in order for you guys to move forward. Let's see. Let's use these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you clarify this two of autumn that came out in reverse, please, for my Aquarius? This is two of autumn in reverse. Undecided. Need to take a step out of the situation. Then you will see. So exactly. I feel like you guys are thinking too much on this past situation. And again, you guys have the King of Pentacles. You guys have the Knight of Pentacles and the King of, King of Pentacles. But this King of Pentacles came out in reverse and so did the Knight. This person that you are dealing with, Aquarius, they're not mature yet. Okay. They are not ready to move forward. This person is not sitting in their higher power, okay? Because they came out in reverse. And I feel like with the Queen of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck, exactly. I feel like this person is pulling you, Aquarius, out of your higher power. Or reverse, the, if, the, if you're a cross watcher, you know, Aquarius, they could be pulling you out of your higher power. Take the energies as they resonate. But somebody is looking for a fresh start. And whoever this energy is, they are holding you back, okay? So, exactly, with the Seven of Swords at the bottom of this deck, somebody is being sneaky. Somebody is not being completely truthful, which is why somebody is sticking around for some sort of clarity or some sort of um, judgment. Somebody wants mental clarity on this situation before they feel like they can leave. And that's what I'm getting. But Spirit needs you to know there is a better choice not seeing things clearly, running away from the truth. So I feel like somebody doesn't want to leave until they gain full clarity on this situation, whatever may be going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify this tower in reverse. Ooh. All right, you guys. So clarifying this tower in reverse <laughs> You guys have the King of Cups in reverse. You could be dealing with the water sign or a Libra. A romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. So whoever some of you guys were dealing with, this person was not emotionally, um, this person was emotionally guarded. They weren't, they, there was no balance in this relationship, okay? Indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others, feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. So this person could have felt like they needed to please others before they actually um, focused on their relationship or whatever it is that you guys had between you. And I feel like that may have made you guys feel as if you were an option and not a choice. Clarify this judgment for my uh, Aquarius. Clarify, uh, clarify this judgment. Let me see. Let me use this deck. I like to switch up my decks, you guys, because none of this is by coincidence. Everything is by design, okay? The chariot. So in the two of cups, you guys, I can't make this up. This two of cups in reverse is your lover, okay? Okay. You guys are looking for clarity before you can move forward. With this Two of Cups in reverse, you guys really love this person. This chariot is uh, meaning you guys are supposed to be moving forward. And that's clarifying the judgment, okay? You guys are waiting for, in order to feel, you guys are waiting for peace of mind in order to move forward, okay? Whatever went on in this situation, it's like you guys feel stuck until, until you know what happened, okay? But you guys are ready to move forward from this situation. But I feel like some of you are waiting for mental clarity, okay? Let's see. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this could be you, you guys. Speedy situation. 
I feel like you guys are needing to take a time out and slow down. You guys are needing to... You guys may be trying to let go of emotions, tears, and frustrations. I feel like you guys are in a better place than you were before, but I feel like you guys may be feeling like your prayers are unheard. Clarify this Nine of Swords in reverse, please, for my Aquarius. You guys have been through, you guys have been through the most with this person. You guys are ready to cut off your emotions, but some of you may not know how. Clarify the um, nine of swords in reverse for my Aquarius. What was this? I wanted to come out six of all. All right. Some, so some of you are, may be wondering why this is happening. Some of you guys may be asking God why. The reason this is happening, Aquarius, is because... Some of you are going through an awakening, okay? Some of you are being divinely guided towards a greater purpose and you just can't see it, okay? Change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness, a temporary pause in the action. So some of you need to stand still, okay? Just stand still and continue to pray, and everything that you need is going to come to you. Let's see. I want to use a different deck to clarify this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify this uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, please, for my Aquarius. So, I feel like this person with the Nine of Cups feels like they have everything that they need. Clarify this Nine of Cups. I feel like... I feel like you you used to be this person's wish fulfillment. Clarify this lovers in reverse. Okay. Clarify this queen of swords in reverse. I feel like this person knows that you were their wish fulfillment, but something was toxic. Something had to be let go because something was toxic in this relationship. I have the lovers in reverse, the devil in reverse, and the queen of swords in reverse, clarifying this nine of cups. So somebody thought that this was wish fulfillment and they realized this, that this took them completely out of character and that this was a completely toxic situation. Holy Spirit, only angels, clarify. Let's see, let me use this deck. Clarify this high priestess in reverse. Exactly. So I feel like... <laughs> The person that found out that this was a toxic situation and now they're uh, pulling back, they're taking time to heal. I feel like they may be going, if this is you, Aquarius, I feel like you may be going through it like mentally. And I feel like you may be understanding that not everybody is worthy of your time. Not everybody is worthy of your money, your emotions. This could be multiple things like, I feel like this person took advantage of you is what I'm saying. This person knew exactly. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This person knew you were abundant. And I feel like this person may have um, used you for that. Okay. Ooh, Aquarius. Okay. You guys. Clarify this Ace of Cups for my Aquarius, please. I'm going to get you guys some special messages at the end. We're going to have to, let's see, we're at 18 minutes. Clarify this Ace of Cups for my Aquarius. Yep. You guys are healing from this, okay? This Three of Hearts, uh, this Three of Swords came out in reverse, okay? Which is uh, stemming from deception, frustration, jealousy, or a broken heart. You guys are coming out of this energy. You're realizing that you guys are stars. Or somebody sees you. Somebody sees you guys as a star. Oh, yes. Yes. You guys are realizing that you are no longer an option. You guys are a choice. Somebody made the wrong choice. But I do know... That you guys are very ambitious. You guys are fiery. You guys are outspoken. 
anything else for this. Woo. And I know you guys have a lot to say. I feel like some of you may be shy. Some of you guys may not be wanting to state whatever it is that you have to say. And you need to voice your opinion. You need to voice your opinion because it's going to bring you it's going to bring you joy. It's going to bring you the ultimate gift of life. It's going to bring you judgment. It's going to bring you peace of mind. You're going to be able to move forward to calmer waters. This person with the king of wands in reverse, they're going to be stuck in their head and they're not going to know. They're not going to know how to move forward with this uh, world card in reverse. I feel like Aquarius, when you move away from this person, if you haven't already, this person is going to start to question themselves and how they treated you. And I feel like it's going to make them um, realize that you were their queen of wands and that you were their star, okay? And that with this two of wands in reverse, that they, they made the wrong choice. That's what I'm getting, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's see, what do we want to clarify? Clarify the Seven of Cups real quick for my Aquarius. Let's see. Set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation, the need for more sleep or vacation. So I feel like you guys may be, some of you may be um, stressing over options that are coming your way i feel like some of you may be overwhelmed let's see clarify this ten of wands for my aquarius holy spirit holy angels clarify this ten of wands let's see some of you do not feel as if you have what it takes to manifest this new life. So I feel like whether it be a job, a relationship, whatever it is you're afraid to move forward with, you have everything that it takes. And I feel like with this magician in reverse and this four of swords that you guys are overanalyzing whatever this decision is, don't miss out on this decision because you are the star and you are the sun. You have what it takes to make the right choice. Some of you are not... Um, some of you may be uh, indecisive, like you don't know which way to go, but you're going to make the right choice, okay? You guys need to pray for discernment. Clarify this five of wands. What are we confused about what's causing conflict? It's because you guys are stuck on this past person, okay? You guys are going to have to get yourself together before you can be with anybody else. Okay. Happy news about your career promotions or scholarships. Well thought out plans go perfectly. Needing a little push to get going. Let's see what the six. I'm serious. You guys could be done with the earth sign. Uh, Virgo. I'm getting a strong Virgo, you guys. Um, Taurus or Capricorn, but strongly Virgo. The good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of money, borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. So some of you could be struggling financially, and I just have to be honest with what I see. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. You need to make sure that you are putting out into the universe what you wish to receive, okay? So make sure you're giving your 10% back, okay? Because... That plays a big role or somebody could be, somebody could have been giving out money to, to somebody else, which may have caused a conflict, which may have made somebody feel rejected. That may be for somebody. Somebody gave money outside of their relationship to somebody who didn't deserve it. And that caused the other person to feel rejected. I just have to say what I see, you guys. Do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. You guys really seriously think about the, uh, the future before you step into it. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively, sudden or unexpected changes. Somebody knows something's about to change. Again, um, we have the uh, Prince of Swords, you guys. 
Somebody could be acting irrationally or immaturely. And somebody's catching on to it. Somebody knows, okay? Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have practice. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Whoever this is, this person did you dirty, okay? And it may be, make sure that you're keeping your options open and do not reject something good that is sent from the universe, okay? Because that is your ultimate gift. Clarify this eight of wands for my Aquarius. Don't be afraid to accept help, you guys, because of whatever this person puts you through. Because I feel like you guys are going to have to collaborate with somebody. And I feel like a lot of you are not even expecting it. Okay? I feel like you guys could be putting a lot of stuff off with the Seven of Wands in reverse because you guys are tired. Y'all are tired of multitasking. I feel like some of you just may be like, screw it. And that could result in you guys missing something that, um, an opportunity that was meant to be a blessing for you. That's for somebody. We, you guys could seriously, this is either you or someone you're dealing with, but it came out in reverse. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Somebody is um, refusing to get advice from someone professional um, because you may be being called to public speaking, okay? And in regards to helping someone else, you're going to have to get your emotions together before you can help the next person, okay? You can't, you can't be a bitter person. People watch how you act. Whether you know it or not, the next person is looking up to you. Do not let this person make you bitter because of what they put you through. Because you are still a brilliant and beautiful and successful person with or without this other person. This person is not what made you who you are. You are what makes you who you are. Okay? Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individual. So, you guys, it's time to focus on you. It's your glow up time, okay? We're just going to get one more card for this justice in reverse. What do they feel injustice about from my various Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? I feel like somebody, is, it was a marriage for somebody strongly. I feel like somebody could be waiting for some sort of asset to go through. Some of you may be involved in a court situation waiting for uh, a settlement to go through that is owed to you. Yep. Somebody's spying on you, and I feel like you know this person is spying on you. Let's see. Clarify this page of swords. Or you could be spying on this person, Aquarius. Um, and you feel as if this person is never going to get this justice. But they will. I feel like this person is going to come back. Mm, yeah. This person is going to come back and offer you something. Yep, this person is going to come back and offer you something, Aquarius, and it's going to have you in your head. With this King of Pentacles, this Nine of Swords, and the Seven of Wands, this person is going to come back and offer you something, and it's going to make you feel very defensive. And you see how he's sitting here with this uh, pinnacle in his hand? They're not ready. They're still a knight. They're not in their king energy, so keep it moving, okay? Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, is there anything else that you have for my Aquarius that you need them to know? You guys, I went into a, a deeper spread because it's been it's been a minute. You guys waited very patiently for your read, and I'm so appreciative, okay? With this magician, you guys, Spirit wants you to know that you have everything that you need to manifest what you need to manifest. This, per this person, they were sneaky. They were manipulative. This could be you or this could be the other energy. Take it how it resonates, okay? 
But whoever this person was, they're not going to get away with the sneaky energy, okay? What you do always comes to light. What's done in the dark, it always comes to light. Somebody's going through a spiritual awakening and the other person was not ready to go with this person. So this person had to leave this other person behind. Now, this other person... um. Now they just gonna have to come pick up their feelings. I mean, pretty much, like, <laughs> and watch you watch you move on because that's you guys are manifesting a new beginning with or without this person. I don't feel like you guys want anybody else, but this person is too arrogant to see whatever whatever is going on. You guys have a new beginning with this wheel, with this wheel of fortune, okay? So you guys are moving regardless. You guys know with this Empress right here and the Ace of Wands and this Eight of Cups, you guys knew that when you left that you were going for your wish fulfillment, okay? All right, you guys, we're at 30 minutes. We're going to go ahead and draw a message from your partner, and we're going to go ahead and end this read, okay? All right, you guys. So your partner wants you to know that they are regretful, and now is not the time. So I feel like this person could have been your divine counterpart, but now is not the time, Aquarius. They, um, I feel like they want this, but they know they're not ready for this, okay? All right, you guys, if this resonated, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to your girl. I love you guys. If you want a personal read, check the description box down below. If you would like to tip or donate to this channel, check the description box down below for that information as well, you guys. I love you, and remember to be someone's blessing and not their problem, okay? Bye.